Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please take a second to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you don't miss out when I upload new content here to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you guys so much for coming back. So today we have another hair related video. So this is a three day old wash and go and I used my Wetline Extreme Gel which is pretty good, it's defined, but my hair has not really been taking on well to products just because I think my hair is on product overload. So today we're gonna go ahead and cleanse our hair and our scalp using the Indian Healing Clay from the Aztec brand. You can find this at your local beauty supply store, Amazon, and I want to say you can find it at GNC, but it is a powerful facial cleanser and here on the natural community, we swear by it when it's time to revive your curls, cleanse your scalp. So there are tons of videos here using this particular clay mask for your hair. Some people use it for their face. I think I may go ahead and use it for my face today just because I'm starting to break out a little bit around the mouth and like up under my like eyes. And I'm not sure what's going on. I have done the same routine with my skincare. I have not changed up any products, so I probably will go ahead and apply some of this onto my face. But today, we're just gonna be mainly focused on the hair. Like I said, my hair is just really dull and it's not holding out on products like it should. It's not holding any curl definition. I mean, you have a little bit here and there, but for the most part, it's not doing what it needs to do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure I cleanse my hair and take away all of that product buildup that I have accumulated. And simply says to mix with apple cider vinegar. So we're going to be using the Bragg's apple cider vinegar with the mother in it. And with the mother means just that little exited part right here at the bottom. And you're gonna mix equal parts with apple cider vinegar and the Aztec clay. You want to make sure to use a plastic bowl or something plastic and for the spoons that you're gonna need, you're gonna use something plastic. Make sure not to use metal because it can interact with the products. It's just like building a volcano and you're not able to use metal utensils, it's the same thing. So on the bottle, it says it's used for facial acne, body wraps, clay baths, foot soaps, chilled clay for knee packs and inset bites. Enjoy the benefits of the clay in your own home. Beautiful and refresh. So these directions on the bottle simply states for facials. So I'm just not gonna go over that, but it does tell you on the back how to use it for facials. And again, you can find this anywhere these products are sold. I know for sure you can find them on Amazon. Don't judge me, I have broke two fingernails. So it is what it is. But we're gonna go ahead, ooh. Well, I didn't wanna spill it all over me, but I guess that's what happens when you shake it up and down. So we're just gonna lightly twist off the top. And this is what it looks like. It's a nice clay. But before we go ahead and mix everything together, I am going to go ahead and rinse my hair and try to get some of this gel out. You do not want to shampoo and use the clay mask at the same time. So I'm just gonna go and run my hair over warm water put a little conditioner just to make sure that I can get my hair saturated because you want to do this on wet hair. Please do not go and just spray your hair with water. Try to do it best as possible on wet hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be back once we have washed our hair. So we're back and we've washed our hair and I just used my shirt just to dry my hair because you guys know I don't like to use towels on my hair. So two things, this is gonna get very messy, so you want to make sure that you are doing this in clothes that you're not gonna wear again or clothes that you don't really care about. So I just have on a sports bra. You're going to need some shower caps for after. And that's pretty much it. So I'm not gonna measure it because I'm just gonna go based off of eyeing it, but I have my bowl and then I have my plastic spoon. I definitely think I'm gonna try this on my face because these breakouts right here is really making me angry. And then I'll probably follow up with a facial mask that might work. So anyways, we're gonna just pour this in. Oops. I'm gonna use, that looks like a lot, but we're gonna see. You wanna go very slow with this because if you don't have enough of the clay, then it's just gonna to be too runny. You want it to be a nice, pace consistency. 
So this is what we have in the bowl. And we're just gonna pour over. And if you hear that, it's really good. So we're just gonna go ahead and mix it all together. rest of this and this is what it's starting to look like as you see it's really thick so now we're just going to go in and add more apple cider And if you want, you can just do a apple cider vinegar rinse, which is half parts of apple cider and half parts water and apply it to your hair, really cleanse your scalp. And that should help too, but I'm just gonna go in with a really good cleanse here. So mixing the two together, it's gonna really cleanse our scalp and our hair. And even though we wash our hair throughout the week, throughout the month, may even do deep conditioning, protein treatments and or um, just shampooing your hair. Your hair still have product buildup on it, so it's really good to go in and do this once a month or maybe every other month. It just depends on your hair. But I really like to do it when I know that my hair needs it, not um, just off of every month. So anytime I feel that my curls are acting up and my hair is not lasting long in a particular style, then I know that my hair has a lot of product buildup on it. So we're just gonna go ahead and use it. And this is the consistency that you want. Nice and it's not loose, but it's good. So this is what it looks like. Have just a little bit more. Just wanted to empty it all in there. So this is what we're looking like now, freshly washed with a little conditioner. So it doesn't matter about how you decide to put this onto your hair. As you can see, I didn't really cleanse my hair because this is gonna strip my hair of everything. So I'm just gonna go in and part with my fingers and make sure you're not using any metal utensils at all, combs, um, clips. Make sure everything is plastic. So I just have my plastic clips here. And we're gonna make sure we seal our apple cider vinegar back up because we don't want that to waste everywhere. And I'm gonna do a couple of pieces just to show you guys what it's gonna look like and then I'll come back once I'm done. So you can use gloves, you can use an applicator brush, but it doesn't matter. It's not gonna do any damage to your hands. So I'm okay with using my hands and I'm just gonna take section at a time and use the spoon, pour it over in my hands. This looks like mud. And then we're gonna go in and rub it on that section. Once I'm done with each section, just like I do my protein treatments, I'm gonna go back and make sure to massage the scalp. So that's section one. It's about to get nasty.
and I do have a mirror down below just so that I can make sure I'm getting it all over on the roots but we want to really focus on the ends of our hair because that's where we have the most product build up and remember our ends of the hair is always left out of a style unless we're doing a protective style So I'll come back once we're done with all four sections. So we're back and I'm done and I did all of my head and I even went ahead and added it onto my face. Be very careful when putting it on your face. Make sure to stay away from your eyes as you can see I did. And also just an FYI, it is going to start getting really hard on your face and it's going to be like a cast feeling. So I'm just going to leave it like this and apply my shower cap. and do some chores around the house for maybe 30, maybe 45 minutes. And then we're gonna wash it out and I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. But this is what I was saying, that it can get a little messy. So we're gonna leave it like this, be back in 30 minutes. I'm gonna show you guys after I wash it out. I'm gonna try to come back and show you guys what it looks like after 30 minutes, even my face, since this is the first time I'm doing it on my face. So I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. So we're back and i'm pretty satisfied not that i didn't know what was going to happen but my hair looks really good it feels really clean and my curls are actually starting to clump up this is freshly washed hair so i wanted to come as soon as i got out of the shower so i could show you guys so if you have not tried this aztec and bragg's vinegar treatment i highly recommend and also for my face, I'm pretty sure you're not gonna really notice like a complete difference right away because you do have to use something on your face for several times before you can see a difference. So I probably will just make that a part of my regimen just once a week and see what it do. Of course, if I do that, I will record it so that you guys can see it. But let's just get into these curls before we end our video. So juicy. I don't know how I'm gonna style my hair, but <laughs> it doesn't even matter. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys do go out and try it if you have not. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.